So, hello guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. And this I'm going to show you how to make this really cool water dance animation. Uh, it's really simple to make, so I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, we go straight into Mixamo. Uh, it's this really cool website uh, where you have different types of animations and you can import them into Blender and different characters and they can do these kinds of movements. So what I'm going to do is choose this Roomba dancing one and then I'm going to press download and choose the frames per second at 30. That's what I'm going to be playing back at and then press download. After that, we're just going to go into Blender and use this. So now that we're in Blender, uh, we can go into file, import and let's choose FBX. So now that I've found the file, I'm just going to click this FBX file, import FBX, and it's going to take a little while. And after that, we have this model dancing in our view. So it's a how many frames animation. So it's going to be a 70 frame animation or not exactly. Let's go and take a look at exactly how many frames we've got here. And we have 72 frames. So I'm going to press 72. And now we have this. So we have our guy dancing and doing this really cool move. Okay, what we're gonna do now, really simply is so select him, go into the um, physics properties and enable fluid and choose flow and then change the flow type to liquid. Then shift A, add in the cube, go into wireframe mode so we can see through it, grab it on the Z, and let something like that scale them up on shift Z without the Z axis uh, I'm gonna scale them up a little bit more something like that will work and then you go into fluids add one more fluid type and add domain and change this to liquid so now we are pretty much done so we're gonna see if some fluid is dropping through our body but the body is and in the wrong flow type. So we're gonna go back to its settings and change the flow behavior from geometry to info. So what that's gonna do is we're gonna uh, keep adding more liquid with every frame. So let's see what that means. So as you can see now, he's adding water into our scene nonstop. To make this a little better, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these keyframes. So I'm going to shift D and duplicate these keyframes and I'm just going to grab and move them up here. So what we got now is we, if we go to the last frame, which is 143. So let's give ourselves 143. We have a looping animation that looks something like this and it'll keep looping. So if we take, if we remember at what frame our previous animation ended, which was 72, if we go to 73, and put that as our starting frame, we are basically going to have a looping fluid simulation. Overall, to make it more looping, what we can do is go into the domain uh, physics settings and turn off the front, uh, uh, front, back, left, right. And what that's going to do if we update the resolution divisions and we uh, change and we uh, bake our key, uh, keyframe. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna give us something that looks like this. So basically it's a looping fluid simulation. So uh, now let me just uh, make it better by uh, okay, putting the end frame at 143 and by increasing the number of resolutions of the key. That's really completely up to your taste. The more the better usually. So I'm gonna go up to something like 96 and then I'm going to enable mesh and diffusion. And then I'm just going to bake all of it and see what that looks like. So now that I've finished baking, we have this really cool looking animation. So we have our guy dancing. Let's go into solve you to see what it looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Really cool. Really nice. Really simple. So uh, what I'm going to do next is go into this tab and disable this from the render and from here. So basically, all we're going to see, I'm going to disable these meshes also. So all we're going to see is the water moving around and dancing in sense. So now it's time for lighting and um, 
yeah, rendering it out. So what I'm going to do is shift A. I'm going to add in a plane at the bottom. So I'm going to scale it up just like that. So it's around the same size as our cube. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm going to go into front view, shift A, add in my camera, control alt zero, grab it, oh, move it like this, zoom it in a little bit, and then just put myself into frame. Okay, what we're going to do next is um, I'm just going to go into render mode. So this, I would suggest rendering it out in cycles unless you want to make it a bit more stylized that's up to you really and I'm gonna go into the um, world properties I'm gonna change this from color to um, what is it sky texture just gonna put in a nice sky texture now we have this pretty well lit up and I'm just gonna give this another plane rx90 grab it on the Y move it back and then scale it up again so we're just going to give my, ourselves a nice background. So I'm going to go and then I'm going to move it in here. Grab it on the Y, move it in here. And there we have it. So we can start adding some colors and making this a little clearer. Uh, let me just go here and add some denoising just for the viewport. So put it at 16. So let's add a new color to this. So if we go into shading tab and we look at this, really simply add full transmission, really low roughness or basically none and make this a little bit onto the blue side and our plane on the bottom, I'm also going to just make it no roughness and make it nice and blue. And for the background, we just add a new material and make it completely white and then no roughness and completely specular. So if we go into rendered mode, we're going to see this. So, and this, uh, this thing is going to move so we can have it moving around and dancing. So what you, you do now is go into the exporting tab, choose FFmpeg, um, choose any file you want and the directory that it's going to be in over here, encoding to MP4 and output quality to perceptually low well sys. And then hit Control 12 and render this out as a really cool animation. And then you'll get something like this. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, check out more of my videos. Uh, maybe go down into the description, uh, Go sign up for my Patreon. It's really cheap and you get all my project files. So I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.